Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this edition of App State Live. I'm Pierre Banks, your host. We got a great one on tap for you today. Have tons of, of guests to come and talk a little bit about App State Athletics. First, please to be joined by Senior Libero from the volleyball program, Miss Emma Riley. Emma, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm truly blessed. Now, there's so much going on, a lot more question marks than answers. How are you and the team preparing for the season? Um, our team has been doing um, Zoom workouts every week. So we've been doing that on our own. And then our strength coach, Coach Glass, has been able to um, join in and he's just able to help with our techniques. But um, that's it's pretty limited to that right now. And then we also have um, meetings like with our coaches and like we're really um, – it's been really good. Like our head coach, Matt, has really been keeping us up to date, like with everything that's been going on as much as he can. So that's been really good. So like we're not completely out of the loop, you know, with what's been going on and everything. So we really just have been doing like Zoom meetings. Um, and that's really about it for now. But I know like we're all very anxious, you know, to get back on campus and start working. It seems like you just arrived on the mountain, but already you're going into your senior year. Take us back to the high school days and what went into your decision making process in, in choosing App State? Yeah, I um, chose App State because it was just a lot different than from where I was from. Um, like as soon as I got on campus, you know, obviously the the views, the mountain was like absolutely beautiful. So. I knew I would never get sick of looking at that. And then um, just like everyone was so friendly and the coaches and the teammate and the team just really made me feel welcome. And I just felt like I would really fit in here. And, you know, I really am happy with my decision and I feel really blessed to be here. You've accomplished so much already in your time here, but how would you describe your experience in the black and gold? Um, I would describe my experience as great. I feel like I've grown like so much as a person and I feel like, you know, I've made like connections for life and friends and all that. And like through athletics, I feel like I've met so many people. And um, so I would just say like all around, you know, it's been a really great experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, you're blessed to be receiving an athletic scholarship to attend school here. What does that mean to you? Um, I'm really thankful for the scholarship. You know, I really, I feel like being able to go to school, you know, get a degree and then also to play the sport, you know, like you love, like, you know, that's just like the dream. So I'm really, I am so thankful and like, um, just want to like say thank you to like the Yosef members for, you know, making this possible, you know, like I just feel like this is just like a dream come true, you know, like you grow up your whole life, you know, wanting to play a college sport. So um, just trying to make the most of it. Well, Emma, we are truly excited to see you all take the court here in the fall. Thank you so much for the time today. And now we're pleased to be joined by a senior receiver from the football program, Mr. Jalen Virgil. Virgil, thanks so much for the time. Oh, thanks for having me, Pierre. Absolutely, man. I, I got to ask you right off the bat, with everything going on in our world, how you holding up, man? I'm holding up good, man. You know, just trying to make sure that take advantage of every day. You know, uh, even though everything seems like it's slowed down, the, the all the days are ticking down and the season's approaching. So, you know, just trying to make sure that, you know, just stay, keep everything together and just keep trying to progress every day in every way possible. So, Now, usually around this time, you guys have been on campus for a little while with voluntary workouts, trying to get yourself into shape, getting ready for camp. But with everything going on, how's the team in preparations for the season? Yeah, everybody's doing good. You know, uh, a majority of the team is up here now. So, like I said, we're just trying to just make sure we stay ready. And, you know, even though everything's kind of up in the air with, you know, different games getting canceled and the season being you know, so it's it's, it's going to be a lot different than it usually is. You know, we're all just trying to just take it how a regular season would be and prepare the same way. So everybody has a good mindset right now and, you know, gonna try to go out there and do it, do every year and try to get another championship. So, And what a career you've had. Now you're a part of four straight 
Sun Belt Championships. You're part of four straight bowl victories, five for the team. And I would be remiss if I left out the fact that the second fastest man in the Sun Belt Conference coming in second in the Sun Belt Outdoor Meet. But take us back to the beginnings. What went into your decision making process before you came to App State? All right, kind of similar to what Emma said about the whole environment. It's so family oriented, you know, the views. The school really just speaks for itself, man. Like, it's, it's a winning program in terms of football. You know, you can get a upper echelon uh, education coming here. You can do anything you want to come here. So, you know, I, I came up here as a senior in high school and, and saw, saw the, the team play Wyoming, and it was a outstanding environment you know it was raining but the, the stands were still filled up and the coaches were just so family oriented like I said and it just felt like home when I got up here and they also said that I was going to be able to do both the sports I love to do so it was it was an offer I couldn't turn down you talked about some of your accomplishments but can you really put into words how special your experience has been here I really can. I mean, I can I can try my best but I mean I've, I've met you know some of my some of my best friends in my entire life here, you know, I've made great connections, you know, uh, the school's been great, you know, I've had the opportunity to have a free education and uh, get my degree almost, I'm, I'm almost about to get my degree, so everything has been perfect, I, I couldn't have, it couldn't have been written any better, so I'm very thankful. Let's touch on something that you just talked about, getting a free education, how important has your scholarship been to you? It's been the most important thing about this whole process, man. Um, getting, the, like I said, getting the opportunity to come to such a prestigious school, you know, the best school in North Carolina for free, get to play for one of the best programs in the country with football and getting to run for a track program like the program we have, you know, it's, it's been it's been unbelievable. And, you know, the most important part, of course, my parents always told me was to get my education. And the fact that I got it for free due to the, the Yosef Club, you know, it's, it's amazing, and like I said, I couldn't ask for anything more. So I'm very appreciative of the Yosef Club for everything they've done and <clears throat> allowing me and every other athlete up here to do what we want, you know, do what we love to do for free. So it's amazing. Needless to say, App State Nation is chomping at the bit, ready for the season to start, and we're excited to see what you and your teammates would do, especially going into your senior year. Thank you so much for the time, Verge. Now, we're pleased to be joined by the director of the Yosef Club here at App State, Mr. Doug Banks. Doug, thanks for taking the time today. So, Doug, talk to us a little bit about the Yosef Club. A lot of times it can just be a name that you hear, but describe who is the Yosef Club? What is the Yosef Club and what is their mission? Uh, great question, Pierre. So the Yosef Club is basically the fundraising arm of the athletics department, and our mission is to raise finances so that we can provide scholarships for all of our student-athletes and then also provide opportunities and experiences while they're here, wearing the black and gold. You know, it's such a great deal for us, you know, because it's a way that we can solidify all those connections and the bond that everybody has as an App State fan and alum. I want to go back to something you talked about a little earlier and something we discussed with both of our student athletes, the scholarship opportunities. How instrumental is the Yosef Club in providing these scholarship opportunities for our student athletes? Yeah, it's it's a big thing that we're doing and it's our main goal, you know. So our scholarship bill back to campus is approximately $7 million every single year. And I think a lot of folks feel that those scholarship bills are just whacked away and and it's free and it's not. We actually pay that back to campus. And so that's what's so important for us to have so many Yosef Club members. And, you know, last year we had about 3,600 members into the Yosef Club. And we certainly can't thank those folks enough for their loyalty and, and how compassionate they are and how passionate they are with their, their time and their energy and their resources to help provide these scholarships. But, you know, we've got a long ways to go. Our goal this year is to get to 4,000 members. So we've got to keep moving. Expanding on the membership piece, now a lot of times you think about folks who are well established in their careers, but are there opportunities for recent graduates or even current students to join the Yosef Club? 
Absolutely. So we've got two different programs inside of that umbrella of the OSEF Club. One of them's curtailed to the current students here at App State. It's called the Student Yosef Club. And those students can sign up for $25 a year to be a member or four years at $85 if they do it on the front end. Um, they get some membership benefits. Uh, they get to help provide scholarship dollars to their, their counterparts, you know, that they're going to school with. And they also get into the contest a little bit early. And then for the folks that are graduating, we've got a young alumni program that is either four or two years after you graduate from App State. And basically what we do is any donation that that young alumni would make, we will double that throughout that period. And just to get them acclimated to how the USF Club works, the benefits, they get used to parking, they get used to the seating, how that works. So we've got two great programs that really help those kids really and students understand what we're about, but hopefully that's the next generations to help keep this thing moving forward. Aside from scholarships, which is a huge aspect, man, and we can't overstate the importance on that. One of the things that App State prides itself on is giving the student athletes a world-class experience and, and being able to help them however they can uh, to compete at the highest level on the field, the court, the mat, or whatever their athletic arena is. How instrumental is the Yosef Club in things like facilities upgrades? Very, very instrumental. You know, there's two sides to the Yosef Club. There's an annual giving side that helps with scholarships. And then an equally important piece is the major gift side, which is a Mountaineer Impact. And folks that are giving to that area are allowing us to upgrade facilities, build new facilities. We're talking the turf project. We're talking the North End Zone. We're talking anything we're doing at the Quinn Center. You know, any type of building you know, project that we're working on that's super important for us as an institution to keep moving forward, for us to be able to recruit and maintain the best student athletes that we can get. It's all connected. And the App 105 project is instrumental in that as well. When you look at tennis facilities and track and field and softball, if I myself wanted to give to the Yosef Club, how would I get involved? Yeah, so that's pretty easy, too. There, you can do a couple different things. You can actually go on to appstatesports.com, and then you'll see the Yosef Club tab at the top of the, the page. And if you can click on that, there's a drop down. You can actually then go to the Give Now tab, and it will walk you through how to, to donate. But also, I'd encourage people to get into that website and look around, see what's going on, see what we're about. Look at the different projects that we've got going on. There's endowments that are huge for us, too, that obviously – are more of a sustainable scholarship component that will go on and on and on. Um, and then also you can call directly into our office and that number is 828-262-3108. When you talk about new members, you also have to talk about the members that have contributed to the success of the athletics department that are already members of the Yosef Club. How are renewals going to and how would you be able to renew your contribution? So basically, if folks that are currently members and were last year, they get a renewal form every year, whether that's the Yosef Club or whether that's tickets to their respective sport that they're interested in. And then they can just either go online, create an account and renew that way. They can send that form back in or they can call us. But those are very instrumental for us to make sure that we're keeping that sustainability piece moving. But we've got to keep growing. We've got to get more members. You know, And I think the biggest thing we've got to do is get people to understand is that you don't have to be a, a $25,000, a $50,000, $100,000 donor to make us move and get better and provide more opportunities. It takes everybody. $100 a year does really good things for us. You know, at the end of the day, it's strength in numbers, and it's about the accumulated sum of all the folks pulling and providing opportunities for us here. I love what you said right there. And I go back to the scholarship piece because it's so important. Myself, a recipient of a scholarship from 2004 to 2008, allowed me to not only get a, an undergraduate degree, but a master's degree. And every opportunity I've gotten since then is based off of that. And I cannot thank the Yosef Club enough for that. And I try to give back and pay it forward as much as I can to the student athletes who are now in the same position that I once found myself in. So that piece just cannot be overstated. Just one more time before I let you get out of here, give them the location where they can find you all one more time. 
All right. So again, calling all mountaineers. We need everybody involved at whatever level that your, your heart feels like helping us out. But again, you can go to appstatesports.com, go to the Yosef Club tab, and then go to the Give Now tab underneath that, and that'll get you right into a, a, a link that you can go ahead and donate. You can also call our office direct at 828-262-3108. He's Doug Banks, the director of the Yosef Club. Can I thank you enough for the time, sir? No, thank you, Pierre. You mean a lot to us. Thank you. I really appreciate the kind words. App State Nation, thank you so much for joining us as we talk a little App State athletics in the midst of all the craziness. Hopefully, we can play our small part and put a smile on your face today. But that's going to do it for this edition of App State Live. We'll see you all next time.